When Ray Comfort promised to prove the existence of God on national television, he knew he didn't have any evidence or proof to show. He just wanted to preach a silly sermon on Nightline. He's an attention whore, trying to look important by biting the ankle cuffs of the trousers of people far better than himself. That's why he challenged Richard Dawkins to yet another display of Comfort's own special brand of certifiable idiocy. If Dawkins agreed, then Comfort would pretend that his own insane ravings were somehow comparable to the consensus held by the worldwide scientific community. And if Dawkins refused to offer airtime to somebody so obviously undeserving of it, then Comfort would pretend that Dawkins was afraid to debate him, as if anyone should be afraid to debate Ray Comfort. So he gets free publicity either way. But Dawkins isn't an adequate or appropriate choice to debate Ray Comfort either. Don't get me wrong. I do respect Dr. Dawson's experience, his dedication, his education in this area. But I just want to bitch slap him every time he says that he's a Darwinist. People who understand the principles of practice and philosophy of science are not Darwinists. We've come quite a way since the 19th century. Thank you. Still, Dawkins has a doctoral degree and decades of professorial experience teaching advanced scholars in some of the most prestigious schools in the U.S. and the U.K. Why should he waste his time giving airtime to an uneducated infomercial fraud who doesn't even know what evolution is? I think Comfort should debate someone with credentials equal to his own, and I believe I have found just the right person in the administrative offices of the University of Texas. Unfortunately, he's still cleaning the urinals in the men's room. So, why not? I'll I will challenge Ray Comfort to a debate. It'll be an online debate, not a live. Because in science, accuracy matters more than the performance behind the podium. And whenever Comfort brings in his fudged figures, erroneous assertions, or irrelevant nonsense, or out of context poke mining trying to argue from authority, I should have time enough to research and adequately expose every error he makes. Of course, he has the same right to do that with me, although he won't find an opportunity and still wouldn't have the means, even if he could. So let's do it. Let's have a dozen or so mutual exchanges, opening with a three and a half minute statement on one specific position, and keep the discussion only on that topic. I'll even let him choose what it is. We could talk about our taxonomic classification within primates, or the dozens of directly observed and documented instances of macroevolution, or the hundreds of transitional species that are unambiguously evident in the fossil record. Or what distinguishes evolution from abiogenesis, or cosmology, or atheism, or religion. Any of these things Comfort somehow still doesn't know dick about, I'd be happy to teach him. As long as it's in a free and unrestricted venue where he won't be able to sell his books or videos to the losers in the lobby because I'll only allow him the kind of publicity he earns for himself, and I'll only do that if I can be reasonably sure that he won't make a dime off me. We'll let lawyers with the League of Reason work out any rules, and to determine the winner, we'll set up a voting system impervious to automated artifice. And of course, we'll allow unrestricted discussion on all the boards of each video submitted, because to do otherwise would be an admission of cowardice implying an indefensibly dishonest position. When you won't let comments appear until or unless they are approved, that's what that means. So what do you say? Because it wouldn't be possible for me to lose a debate against someone like you. And I think you and I both know there was never even one point you could argue in your favor that would ever turn out to be right. I think Comfort should debate someone with credentials equal to his own, and I think I found just that person at the end. Still, Dawkins has doctoral Still, Dawkins has a doctoral degree and decades of professorial experience teaching advanced scholars in some of the most prestigious schools in the US and the UK. Why should he wow. Still, Dawkins had Still Dawkins, still, Dawkins has a doctoral degree in decades of professorial. Gee, shut up, bird!